Well, greetings, everybody. Bear um, with me for that tangle of wires there. Um, so, I was just reorganizing and cleaning out my room. And it gave me an idea to do a video of my non-functional um, Apple collection or Apple devices that I keep in my room in that drawer over there. Um, and um, also my my main daily Apple devices too, um, as well, um, my own Apple ecosystem. So pretty much what I'm recording with is my iPhone 14 Pro um, in, um, I believe they call it Space Black or Graphite, I can't remember. Um, and, um, and then I got my um, Apple Watch this is the Apple Watch series too. I've had for over a year, um, and I use it for um, when I go to the gym, and um, and um, I'll probably upgrade next year to the um, the tenth gen or ninth gen or whatever. But you have that there. Um, I got my 15 Pro right there. I got the AirPods Pro two and the iPad Pro fourth gen um, all right there. So. Um, so I got my nice pro, um, and, um, my nice pro stuff. And then I do have a MacBook pro as well, but that's actually in my car because don't mind my clothes there. Um, but, um, but yeah, so it's in my car. So, um, and I forget to bring in today, but I do have my MacBook Pro 13 inch from 2022, um, that I use as my main MacBook. Um, but I do have another Mac. Um, this Mac is not functional. It's an iBook G4. So it's technically an iBook, um, and, and it's chargers. Um, it's not functional, but hey, I have it. And also I got a non-functional. It did work at one point in 2022, but I Tried to turn it on one day. It never turned on again. I left on the charger for like a week. Weeks. And no signs of life. But it is an original iPhone slash iPhone. Um, 2G. But um, it's non-functional. It has dead pixels. It does have some apps and music on it. Um, and it is on the way to iOS free. So it's not really that special. But, hey, I mean, it's an original iPhone. So... There you go, and I kind of keep it on my wall right there, kind of display it. Um, the first iPhone ever made, and one day when um, when I get a house, um, and hopefully a nice wife, and um, and have an adult wife, then um, then um, I will make a museum in my room with some other non-functional devices. But, um, but for now, um, I got that original iPhone non-functional there all by itself. Um, and then in my drawer, um, I just cleaned out, um, well, I get some more chargers. I got all my, my Apple chargers right there. I got some more USB-C stuff over there. Um, but here's all my non-functional devices pretty much. So, um... And, um, so, um, so pretty much, so I have two Androids that I found in the Target recycling bin, but I pretty much have a, um, I'm not even sure, like, I think there's, like, a GoPro phone, I don't know, <laughs> I, I do not know, but, I mean, this phone is so cute that I, I'm gonna decide I'm not gonna destroy it, and I'm gonna keep it in my, um, non-functional collection. And I got an LG, I don't know what type of LG, I think it might be a Lexus, I don't know. But, pretty cool, solid device, so, keeping that, so those are two non-functional Androids I have. I got an iPod Touch 2nd Gen engraved, this is supposed to be on iOS 2.1.1, I think, or 2.2, I can't remember. But it's in recovery mode, and I can't get it out of recovery mode, so, I actually got ripped off by the seller. Um, I bought it as a bundle. Um, with an iPhone 4 and iOS 5 and some other iOS 8 devices, I think a 5C and a 5S on iOS 8, 
Um, and um, those were fully functional, but this one was not. So, um, so that's kind of in my for parts collection. Um, and I got um, an iPhone 3G. This one is on iOS 3, um, but it's also in recovery mode. So since I attempted to buy an iPhone 3G on iOS 3, I have one now because I need a 3G on iOS 3. Um, but um, I thought that it was going to activate for iTunes. I only bought it for like $5 plus shipping, so like I lost almost nothing on this at all. Um, but... Um, but yeah, it's also stuck in recovery mode, so that's why it's in my parts collection. Um, and then I got three um, iPhone fours. Um, first of all, this is the only working. Well, now there's another working one too. But I got in my iPhone four, four dot two six, um, and Verizon. Only problem, problem is it has a bad home button. So I actually demoted this from my. Um, my fully functional collection um, to my parts collection. So, so 4 out of 6 bad home button. You've seen that on my channel before. And I got another iPhone 4, also a Verizon one. This is on iOS 7, but it boot loops. Um, and um, I tried turning it on earlier, and it does boot loop. And um, iTunes can't detect it, but it is 7.1.2. It's going to be in the museum one day. So, um... And then the iPhone 4S, the 64 gig iPhone 4S that needs a new battery. So on iOS 7, that has an iCloud account on it, but it has the FMI off. So I can reset it without it being iCloud locked with no passcode. So, um, but I don't want to reset it because it's got some old um, logo apps, like the old Instagram app, the old Twitter app. And that like people were selling for like, thousands of dollars on ebay right now so just for the old twitter icon because now it's called x it's kind of stupid but um and, and here's a blue iphone 5c this i found in the target bin it's on ios 9 i think maybe ios 10 it's i got locked and it has a passcode so this iphone is no good but it's good screen protector and i've destroyed so many 5c's in the past so i decided not to kill this one um I got an iPhone 5S with a cracked camera, also found in the Target bin, also on iOS 9. Um, and it does have, it does not have a password, but it, and it's not iCloud locked, but it does have FMI on. So it has find my iPhone on. It's on iOS 9, but no passcode, so I can get into it. But I just can't reset it or else it will become my card lock. So, but kind of, um, kind of rare a little bit. And this is a 6S that I bought from a friend, also with an iPhone 11 Pro that I bought. The midnight green one I have downstairs that you've seen in some of my videos. Um, he sold to me for, no, I traded him an iPhone 10S on iOS 12. Um, I have another one now. I haven't made a video about that one yet. I don't know when I will. But, um, but he traded me that for an iPhone 11 Pro on, it was on iOS 16, but I updated it to iOS 17. Um, and, um, this iPhone 6S that he thought just needed a SIM card, but it is for parts, it's non-functional. Um, and I think about $50 or $100 cash, no, $70 cash, I think, um, he gave me. So, um... So, I think that was a fair trade, um, but he didn't know this iPhone was non-functional, but that's alright, because I think, even though the tennis on iOS 12 is really rare, um, I, I do have another one now. Um, so, I gave that to him, and he gave me perfectly working iPhone 11 Pro, and, um, and some cash, and this iPhone. So, I think that was a fair trade, so I, um... And that was them, and that, that's why I got this iPhone. And I kind of need a 6S or an iPhone 6 for my parts collection, so kind of a win win. Does have a bad SIM card slot there. He thought that was the problem, but nope, it is completely bricked. So, <laughs> so that's kind of like my kind of where I keep my 
my main Apple devices, um, except my MacBook that is not in my room right now because I forgot in my car, but um, with my um, college stuff. So um, I have my chargers there, um, my um, USB-C chargers, um, and, um, and I got some older chargers there like the Whiting and wireless and um, my razor charger and 30 pin and some backup chargers there and all my non-functional devices pretty much so I kind of want to do like a miscellaneous what Apple devices I have in my room so since I haven't done that yet so um, but anyway take care guys and peace out